I'm Samina. I'm a 3D designer from Chloe in the office. In this quick video, we will learn how to drape an abaya with a hijab in Chloe. We will also see how we can add details like lace and embroidery on the abaya. If you have any questions, feel free to use the live chat on the site and we will answer your questions then. To start off, import a DXF of a basic button-down abaya. Then arrange the patterns on the avatar using arrangement points. For that, arrange the front patterns closer to each other and move them aside so that the arrangement points will be visible when it's turned on. Now arrange all the patterns on the avatar. Once it's done, sew the patterns together using the sewing tools. Next, select all the patterns and create its symmetric clone. This way, the new set of patterns will be automatically sewn and linked together. Make sure the plackets are overlapped and the buttonhole placket is placed on the top. Temporarily sew the plackets together and change the sewing line type to turn. Finish it off by sewing the center back and finally simulate the garment. At any point, you can plug in fabrics to the garment. I'm changing the fabric to silk crepe de chine and will change the color of the fabric after desaturating the texture. Next, in order to make sure the selected segment doesn't stretch, add elastic property and change the ratio to 100. You can also add shearing on the selected pattern outline. This will help to realistically express shearing by reducing mesh size of the selected area of the pattern. Strengthen the placket patterns and simulate. Then stop the simulation and move the buttonhole placket forward to maintain a slight gap between both the plackets. Next, start adding the buttons using the button tool by right clicking on the pattern outline. Type in the distance and the interval of the first button, interval between each buttons and the total number of buttons. Then using select move button tool, right click on the button and select duplicate as buttonhole to symmetric pattern. Use the fasten button tool to fasten the button with the buttonhole. Finally, remove the sewing that was attached to both the plackets and simulate. Next, change the shape of the button, size, thickness, material type and color to customize the button according to your requirement. Likewise, customize the buttonhole property as well. Next, let's add a lace trim on the sleeve. For that, offset an internal line from the sleeve hem. Right click on the internal line and select cut and sew. Assign a new fabric to these patterns and add the lace fabric image in PNG with transparency format as a texture. Using edit texture tool, Multi-select both the patterns and position the lace. Likewise, to express a velvet border on the bottom hem, 
multi select both the hem segments and offset an internal line and right click and select cut and sew then merge some of these patterns together After assigning a new fabrics to these patterns, replace the new fabric with cotton stretch fabric from the fabric library and change it to the desired color. Another detail you can add is embroidery. Add a scanned image of an embroidery in JPEG format as a graphic. You can also add a displacement map to it to express the thickness or bumpiness of the embroidery. Lastly, add an opacity map which will help you to define the degree of transparency. After this, scale the embroidery to any size. Set the amount, shift value and particle distance of the displacement settings. To duplicate the embroidery on the other side, simply right click and select duplicate to symmetric pattern. This will be the render result of the embroidery. As a final detail, add a small belt around the waistline. Create a pattern using rectangle tool and type in the pattern measurements. Assign any suitable fabric for the belt. And arrange it around the waist using arrangement points. You may further adjust the position of the pattern in XY axis from the property editor. Sew the center fronts together. And change the particle distance to a value less than 10 mm and layer number of the pattern to 1 before simulating. Don't forget to change the layer number back to 0 afterwards. As an additional detail, turn off the button collision to avoid any collision that might occur while changing the pose. This step is optional. Now change the pose of the avatar and simulate the garment. You can also add a texture to cover the avatar leg. We will now move on to creating a hijab. For that, open another Clo instance with the same avatar. First, create a pattern of the hijab using rectangle tool with a measurement of 180cm into 50cm. Once the pattern is created, arrange the pattern over the head in the 3D window using the gizmo tool and then simulate. Adjust the position of the pattern to refine the drape. Pin the pattern around the face using the tack tool. This will also hold the pattern around the avatar head. While keeping the simulation on, drape the hijab according to the desired style. With the help of number key shortcuts, you will be able to navigate easily in the 3D window and drape the hijab quickly. You may also use the pin tool to keep the drape intact.
utilize the tag tool again to pin the patterns together to stabilize the drape. Apply any fabric from the fabric library. I have assigned polyester fabric for now. Next, make the pattern symmetrical by dividing the top and bottom segments in half. Then right click on the pattern and select half symmetric pattern with sewing. Using internal polygon tool, draw an internal line on the pattern. Apply elastic property on the internal line and reduce the elastic ratio to 50. Do the necessary adjustment to fine tune the drape according to the hijab style. You will be able to refine the drape and fall of the hijab once the particle distance is reduced. Change the color of the fabric. And also change the pose. Even at this point, you can change the fabric if you're not happy with the fall. Let's look at how we can layer the hijab we just created with the abaya. Now bring in the hijab file into this workspace. To layer the hijab on the abaya, change the layer number of the abaya patterns to negative 1 and simulate. Once the garments are fully simulated, change the layer number back to 0. Even at this stage, you can change the color of the fabric. As the final step, make the garment into a high resolution garment and simulate. Here are the render results of your baya and hijab. Also, some examples of hijab drapes you can achieve in Clo. Hope you enjoyed this workshop. Thank you for tuning in.